this G2O portal for Anastasis Academy. And this is the parent portal. So this is what you get when you log in to the parent portal. Um, the first thing you can do is if you scroll over home, you will get a list of um, different, a drop down list of different places you can go. You'll see news, messages, and calendars. And that's probably primarily where you will be in Edu2O as a parent. So we've got um, home. And when you click on news, this is where all of the announcements for Anastasis are kept. So uh, you'll see announcements from Camille and Kim and Matthew and myself. And those announcements are school-wide announcements, and they'll tell you everything that's going on at the school. Um, those are archives, so you can go back if you ever miss a bit of information from an email. You can always go back to the edu 2 portal and find any information that you may need. Um, you'll also see if you friend your children's teacher, you'll also see any posts that they make um, it come in your news feed. So that um, will tell you about different blogs that, are, that they've just done, different activities they've done in their classroom, and so it's good to friend your um, child's teacher. Next is messages, and in messages you will see um, any messages, you should see one from me that came just with login instructions, but then you should see any messages that your children are sending you will show up here, um, any messages from your teacher, and then you can respond back to your teacher um, and your children right directly within edu 2 if you would like to. So that's where you do this. It works just like an email inbox. Next is the calendar. This is uh, our, the Anastasis school calendar. And what's great about this is it tells all of the Friday afternoon learning excursions. It tells about what's happening with chapel. It tells the kids' birthdays are on here. Um, if you click on any of the items, it'll bring up another page um, that gives more details about that item. So for example, if we click on Adam's Mystery Playhouse, which is next week's learning excursion, we get this event information. So it tells us all about the event, um, and then it gives us a place to click to sign up. And um, Kim has made that for us. It looks just like this. You can sign your child's name up that they will be attending. And then you can also, um, down below, you'll see that there are places for parent drivers. This is a place where you can connect with other parents who will be uh, available for driving. And they will tell you how many um, children they can take in their car so that you can see um, you know, who can carpool and uh, make that happen for your students. Back to Edu2O, um, if you click on people, you'll see a few things. You'll see friends, that's where your um, child's teacher will be if you add them. You'll see your children are automatically added there and you can add other people's children as well if you're mentoring anybody else's kids or um, close to them, you can add them so that you can see what they are doing. And then the administrators is um, myself, Matthew, uh, Camille and Kim, and then Jancy Simon, uh, our bookkeeper. So you'll see all of them as ad administrators right within Edu2O, and you can look at their pages if there's ever information. Um, it will show up in your newsfeed. If you would like to add a friend or another child to your um, network, all you do is search for their name up in the search box in that right hand corner and you can search for them and then it'll give you a little option to add them as a friend and so if we did uh, Mrs. Lauer you would see add as a friend and we could just click that button there um, and then we could uh, we can see who all of her friends are so you can see those down below um, and you can get any information about her. You can also see up at the top now of the page, it says her name, and you can look at who her friends are, any photos that she has put out, uh, any groups that she's created. Um, teaching will have uh, any teaching items that she has for the kids, and then the blog is her blog. Um, you'll see the same thing, same categories for children with a few extra. This is an example of what you would see if you clicked on your child. So you'll see an overview. Um, that's where they've put in their profile picture and a little bio about themselves. Um, classes is just if they are enrolled in a specific class. Um, generally, we won't be using that tab. The next one is calendar. That's your child's personal calendar that they can add to. Um, grades we will not be using. Portfolio has any students um, they can upload any links, any documents that they've created, pictures. Uh, they can add it to a portfolio for everyone to see. 
Um, friends will show you who their friends are, photos, any photos they've uploaded. Groups will show what groups they are a part of. And then the blog is your child's personal blog that they are creating. Um, this is the blog page, as if I clicked on the child's blog. And you'll see a few options here. I have not blogged on this fictitious student, but if you were blogging with your child, you would see, or if your child was blogging, you'd see all the posts listed here. Uh, you can click that subscribe button to subscribe to their blog posts and it will send it to you as a message. So it'll come in your email box. You could also, if you use um, a RSS reader like Google Reader, you could click that RSS button and it would subscribe to the feed um, of your child's blog. So those are great ways to, um, to follow your students' progress. They do that pretty regularly. So throughout the week, if you ever want to know what they are working on, that's a great place to start. Next is groups, and uh, as a parent, you can create groups. So if you wanted to create a parents and prayer group um, on the Edu20 portal where you could communicate and share, um, you could do that. You could create groups around ministries, um, so really anything that you wanted. You can also enter groups um, for your school, and right now you can see the catalog of groups is um, two for Mrs. Baldwin, and uh, there are inquiry groups and afternoon groups, and then um, Mrs. Lauer also has an inquiry block group. So those are groups that you could um, subscribe to or enter and uh, see what the kiddos are up to there. Uh, back on the home page, you will see um, to the right there, you've got a list of the profile. Um, you've got tips that will lead you through how to use Edu20. And then you'll see um, the newest announcements are list listed there, as well as any unread messages you have. You can create a to-do list right here in Edu20, and it will also show you um, activities that are happening from the calendar today and also upcoming activities. If you want to update your own profile as a parent, you can click on your profile name up there in that right-hand corner, and it will take you to an overview of your own profile. And you can see there, right underneath overview, you can change your picture, you can edit your description, and you can change your password if you would like to. So um, those are all things you can do from right there. You can also edit your basic information. You can add things like phone numbers and email addresses and things like that. Uh, if you add an email address here anytime you uh, get a message on Edu20 or subscribe to your kids feed, it'll actually send it to that email address that you have entered here.